Dak Prescott has signed his franchise tag for $31.4 million. So that's got to piss off Jamal Adams, dude. You ain't worth 20 and his franchise tags worth 31.4. <laughs> so Dak Prescott gets $31.4 million this deal this year while he continues to negotiate for a longer deal. Dak Prescott, I put in with the baseball players as greedy and disgusting. I mean, he's got he got an offer of $35 million a year for five years. He didn't want to take it for two reasons. He wanted it to only be four, so he can cash in again. And then he wanted $45 million the last year because the cap's going to go up. Um, how about you win a few playoff games first? Maybe leave your team a little bit of money so they can get in some players since you obviously can't win with the players you have and then worry about your money. Well, you know, I mean, I have mixed feelings. Listen, I, I'm I'm a huge Giant fan. I hate the Cowboys since the nineteen early 1970s. But I, I respect good players, and I respect people that go out there and, and, and do their thing and play a good ball game. I mean, Zach uh, Prescott is probably one of the better younger quarterbacks in the league right now. And if he gets a, a, a coach in there this year, if McCarthy does a good job, he'll continue to prosper. Um, it's not his fault that the teams lose. A lot of it has to do with their defense. they got a strong running game. They got a good passing game. And Zach, there's a method to his his madness here by taking the franchise tag because the cap is going up. So he'd be foolish now to negotiate anything till after the cap goes up. I mean, if I was his agent, I'd say, hey, sit tight, sit tight, let him let him sign your franchise you. And if they can't sign you next year, I know there's another team that would want him. And and he could start on almost any team in his league. Almost any team. So he ain't I, starting for us, Giants. Well, he, no bueno, I, big I, I'm just saying, almost on any team in this league, he could start. He's a he's a good young quarterback. He's a playmaker. He's uh he's fairly accurate. He's like uh, in the top five quarterbacks uh, in a lot of stats. So uh, yeah, I mean that's that's what's going on today, big guy. I mean you got the quarterbacks making a lot of money. Right, but let me ask you a question: In a league like football, where your contracts are not guaranteed, only the money you sign up front, you got offered. Five years at $35 million a year. What happens if he gets hurt? He gets nothing else. Career-ending injury. I mean, why would you not take that? That's a lot of money. I just, big- right now, I just have no sympathy for anyone turning down lots of money because of what's yeah. going on. You know, if nothing ever happened with the coronavirus and everything was hunky-dory and everybody was out working and had a job and everybody was doing what they're supposed to be doing and making money and everybody's happy, you know, I would have, you know, I probably wouldn't even spend a second thought about it. Hey, listen, I definitely agree. I definitely agree with everything you said there. That's why I'm a little ticked off at the players more than normal in baseball because there's no game. The NFL say, ain't saying the players aren't saying we're not playing if if we don't get such and such. They're negotiating deals that are according to their contract. And I'll tell you, the football players union is is uh, a lot weaker than most unions in sports. I mean, they're very uh, agreeable to the owners' request. They work out deals, uh, unbelievable deals for the owners. So, I mean, listen. You know what's going to happen when Patrick Mahomes gets his contract? It's, it's going to be unbelievable. I'm not comparing well, Patrick that. Mahomes is a better quarterback than that. I'm not comparing him to to to, to uh, Mahomes. I'm just saying Dak is just a big a part of that offense as Mahomes is to the Kansas City offense. That that you can't. But isn't this just going to turn out the way it always turns out? A quarterback signs a big deal, gets all this money, and then by a year, halfway through the contract, they're asking him to take a pay cut so they can sign players. To make the team competitive. Yes. That's that's the biggest problem today in, in, in football. I mean, the GMs have got an a unbelievable job ahead of them because these star players, whether they're quarterbacks, receivers, uh, or running backs, what do you have left over to build that team? Because, of course, Patrick Mahomes and Dak Prescott can't win the games by themselves. They need an offensive line and weapons around them. So if they – they have got to – the GMs have got to come up with a formula that keeps some players around them, keeps the team strong, and still pays their most important But see, that's player. my problem, though. How do you pay – how do you pay Dak Prescott, Russell Wilson money when Russell Wilson wins? He's won a Super Bowl, been to another Super Bowl. He wins a lot of games. Dak Prescott doesn't win squat. 
But again, a quarterback stat isn't wins. If Seattle Seahawks got to the Super Bowl because of their great defense and a great running game, I mean, not taking nothing away, not taking away nothing from the quarterback at Seattle. But listen, Russell Wilson is a great dynamic quarterback. But Seattle went to the Super Bowl because of their defense, a running game, and, and that's why they went to the Super Bowl. It wasn't all Wilson. Yeah, but wins do matter sometimes for a quarterback. Take example, Eli Manning. If Eli Manning does not win two Super Bowls, he's not going to the Hall of Fame. Well, there you go again. Eli Manning did not win two Super Bowls. Right, but he's going to get to the Hall of Fame because of two wins in the Super Bowl. If you take those away, he's very average. Right, right. But but he's still seventh in passing all time. He's still seventh in passing all time. You but know, again, through more interceptions and touchdowns too. Well, so, I, I think it's one sixteen to one sixty. I think it's a dead even tie. But beside the point, Eli Manning did not win those Super Bowls. He I understand helped. that, but they're going to help get him in the Hall of Fame. Probably so. Probably so, and, and probably deservedly so. But so are some of the defensive players that played, like Michael Strahan, who I think is already in there, and and you know Tiki Barber. Of course, that's before the Super Bowls, but on the team with Eli at the time when he was playing, he has a shot at getting the Hall of Fame with his numbers too. So there are other people that are going to benefit from that. Listen, football is a team sport. People forget about that. They follow the football all around the field. It's a team sport. Without a good team, I don't care who you got a quarterback, you're not winning football. I don't know. I mean, it's a lot to pay him. Listen, I'm not mad. They want to pay him, let them pay him. Because the more money the Cowboys pay him, they've already given a lot of money to Zeke. They've already given a lot of money to the wide receiver. If they want to give him a lot of money, go right ahead. Because I don't care with the cap going up or not. I've said this a hundred times on this show. You, I'm a Giants fan. You want to tie up the cap? Tie him up. I don't care. We'll throw all over them all day. Saquon will run all over them because they won't be able to afford anyone on, on defense. Yeah, Why yeah. Jamal Adams crying like a little child about being traded. Who's another guy I have no respect for when Jamal Adams is out there crying like a child for to go to the Cowboys. It's like they can't afford you. So are you going to go there? You're not going to get paid there. Yeah. And here's a here. And here's a guy that we're talking about. Here's a guy, Jamal Adams, that already got his all his money up front as a contract. No respect for him. No right. respect at all. As a, as a contract, and a, after having that contract, still has a year to negotiate with him. So, I mean, to me now, that's something that a player uh, is taking advantage of and, and, and trying to use social media to put pressure on a team where he shouldn't be doing Absolutely. That. I hope the Jets hold him. And make him suffer. Uh, you're staying. You sign the deal, play it. You're a big boy. Play yes, sir. It. You know? Yeah, well, Tyrone's right. Tyrone on Facebook mentioned that at some point the Giants are going to run into cap issues. That's same same thing. I understand that. I understand that. But I'm willing to go on record and guarantee you that Daniel Jones does not turn down a big contract waiting for more money. Watch. And, it, and here, this is when Dave Gettleman, we talk about Dave Gettleman, the GM for the Giants, great drafter. This is where he makes his money. He's got to come up with a, fa- a formula that he can sign these players like Barkley and Jones and whoever else the stars come to become on the Giants. He's got to work out that formula to make the team stay strong and have those star right. players. The, the difference between the Giants and the Cowboys is Saquon Barkley and Daniel Jones are team guys. Dak Prescott's a me guy. Well, so far, I mean, Dak had Dak showed no signs of being like this. I mean, he was working under a, a rookie contract. He never complained. He was he honored out- it. Right. 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 So, I mean, I mean, he never showed signs of this. I think if Dak was really not a, a, a team guy, he would never sign this. He doesn't guys. look like a team guy right now because of the fact that, you know, right now he was, you know, it's hard. It, like I said, it, it, it's magnified because of what's going on in the world. Definitely agree with this that. It would be like middle of page sports news if everybody was playing. Because everyone Definitely. would be focused on what the Yankees and Mets were doing and what their local teams are doing. But instead, it's, you know, it's magnified because there's nothing there's nothing else really to talk about. And not only that, not only that big guy, there's a lot of people that are hurting out there that are trying to get by and they're trying to make a living and their unemployment's not coming in and jo- and places are closing and, and we're under these strict rules in some places and people are just mad. And then you have somebody that's, you know, like you said, I want thirty five million dollars and you're like, oh, well, no, okay. not thirty five. He wants forty five in the last year. Right. right. So, <laughs> I mean. So it is what it is. I mean, you know, Jerry, you know, who knows? Who know? I mean, if I was Jerry Jones, it, it just just me, you know, see what your team does this year because you've been a team that you've had a team that a lot of people for the last few years thought should win the Super Bowl. And you yeah. didn't. You didn't even yeah. make it to the Super Bowl. 
see what your team does this year. And you know what? For once, stand up to the players and understand that you run the team, not the players. When we go to work, we don't run the job. We don't go to who goes to work. Which one of us goes to work and tells our boss, this is what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Works. You own the team. He's your employee. If he, whether he's a bad guy or not, I'm not saying he's a bad guy. I'm saying he looks greedy. I didn't say he's a bad guy. Let him play this year. And if Dak doesn't get the team over the hump deep into the playoffs or the Super Bowl, let him walk and keep Andy Dalton. And <laughs> I don't care. Let him walk. I keep you know, Andy Dalton. Dak Prescott to win. The offensive line is one of the best in the league. Anybody with time will sit back there. Dalton's not a bum. He's not as good as Dak Prescott, but if you give him the time to throw, he'll put up better numbers than he did in Cincinnati where he was running for his life all the time. Ezekiel Elliott is still going to run for days and throw the money in your defense, Dallas. Definitely. So you can win a Super Bowl. How do you win a Super Bowl without an elite quarterback? Trent Dilfer, Baltimore. Joe Flacco, not really elite. Eli Manning, not really elite. He just didn't turn the ball over in the playoffs, you know, and had some good throws. So um, let's see. So some comments here. Tyrone on Facebook says, I disagree. Jerry Jones is very strategic. He doesn't communicate with anyone. Dak isn't a bad guy. I don't think he is either. Al says on Facebook, Dak did what you want. Played at a high level, didn't miss aims, didn't end up on the front page. That's right. Character-wise, he's, he's, there's nothing wrong with Dak Prescott. Tyrone says, I'm not upset at all. You think those capitalists care what you lost? Nope. They find a way to find your loss. Uh, that is true. And Al says, and now he gets wants to get paid. I don't get the problem. Dak is good, but he's not Wilson or Rogers, but he's as good as Wentz or Cousins. Well, that's the problem, Alice. He wants, he wants Rogers and Wilson money. You just answered your own question. You say he's not as good as them, but he wants to be paid like them. You know, I have no problem with Dak Prescott getting more money than Kirk Cousins or Wentz, but they offered him more money. I'd have to look up Kirk Cousins contract, but I think four years, $35 million a year was more money total than Kirk Cousins got. Wasn't it? Well, Kirk Cousins turned three years for, was it 90, 95? I, I'd have to look it up. But I think Kirk Cousins contract is fully guaranteed. He's getting that money. I mean, there's absolutely. No and I, I think Dak was going to get like 80, 90% of it guaranteed. And he probably still will. Dak is going to get paid, and you said it before. If he's not by the Cowboys, he's going to get paid by somebody. Sure is. What I'm sure. just saying is at some point, when is enough enough? You and know, the, football is a salary cap sport, Mac. We're not talking sure. about baseball. And, you know, even though even though Dak can go to a lot of teams, <laughs> what teams does he want to go to? Because teams with good quarterbacks aren't going to take a chance on him. So he's going to go have to go on to a, a lower or medium a medium team that that's not really competitive. So, I mean, and there is, there is play both ways. Both yeah. people have leverage, you know, it, it works out. Yeah. Well, Tyrone mentioned it's people. It's five year. He wanted four. Yeah, that's what I said before. They, Dallas wanted five years. Dak wanted four. Then Dak kind of compromised and said, well, okay, then pay me $45 million in the fifth year. And they didn't want to do that. So, you know, it's back and forth. I can understand where Dak is coming from, from that standpoint. I mean, if the cap's going to go up, he wants more money. But I think that as a team, I think, I think when Dallas said to him, well, here's five years, 35 million, I think they were overpaying. I look at yeah. what the other quarterbacks are worth, and I think he's worth more like 30. So I think Jerry Jones has already shown willingness to pay him more than he's worth because he's not worth Russell Wilson, and he's not worth Aaron Rodgers. And, you know, Tyrone mentioned, well, Eli killed our cap. Yeah, but Eli also took money back when they needed players. When they needed players, Eli said there were times in years where Eli said, all right, I'll defer, do whatever you got to do. Um you know, Jason says, well, who's going to be the first $50 million quarterback? It's not that far from happening because if if Dak gets 35 or 40, what's Mahomes going to get? Oh, he's going to set the power. Right. Mahomes is a better quarterback, and he's already won a title. So, you know, I mean, you know, you, you know, they – if that, yeah, that's what I said. What Al just brought up on Facebook, he says, as a Giant fan, he's also a Giant fan, pay Dak 50 and kill their cap. I'm all for that. Pay him 100. Yeah. Pay him. Pay, I don't care. Kill the cap. I mean, yeah. You're but I mean, be killing everyone's cap because I mean, it's going to be 100. You got to give Mahomes 120. 